Thank you for watching Lomelli EMS Productions. I'm Angie Lomelli and I have put together a library of informational nuggets to complement the main skill. I would really, really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and share. Now, let's get started. I put together these props to help you understand what equipment you might need in lieu of the actual pre-hospital childbirth mannequin and OB kit. Look around your house. Perhaps you could put together your own kit so that you can practice while watching the pre-hospital childbirth video. In lieu of a medical mask, you can use any face covering. Instead of wearing safety goggles, you could put on any glasses to simulate your PPEs. Instead of donning your medical gloves, you could put on your winter gloves. You can replace the bulb syringe with a turkey baster. Your disposable scalpel can be replaced by scissors or shears. Here I'm using a restaurant napkin that I just folded in half and I'm using as a 4x4 sterile gauze in lieu of the real thing. The most comparable item that I can find that compares to a chuck or a disposable pad is a hand towel. I substituted the BZK antiseptic towelettes with a package that I found and uh, even though I won't be opening this for cleansing, I'll simulate that I would open the package. And I would have three of them so that I can clean the mannequin from top to bottom, medial to lateral. A reasonable substitution for the umbilical cord clamps are something like this. I think this is a potato chip bag clip, something like a clothespin, or even something like a hair clip. All of these are good, comparable substitutes. Here I have a collection of reasonable substitutions. In lieu of the infant newborn mannequin, I'm using a stuffed animal. Instead of the umbilical cord, I'm using my cell phone charger cord. And then I use a hair tie, a rubber band. You could use anything just to hold it in place. And the stuffed pillow that resembles the placenta. So again, I connected this end of the umbilical cord with a hair tie and the other end, I used another hair tie to connect the opposite end of the cord so that they are all joined together. If you don't have a nice red fluffy pillow, Simply use your cord on your cell phone, and now your cell phone could be the placenta. Have your bag ready, and you will place your placenta in the bag and prepare for transport. I had to get a little creative. Instead of using the OB mannequin, I got a shoebox. When I'm looking for crowning, I'm going to focus on the three or four centimeters. That's how much this green dot is right there. Now, when the baby is about to be delivered, the entire area will dilate to 10 centimeters. And that's what I measured here, 10 centimeters. And the best comparable to 10 centimeters is this big can of pinto beans. And I just measured that, and that's my 10 centimeters. When using the OB kit, the baby is inside underneath the abdominal pad, which you're removing and at this point we would have the magic flap go up and here comes the baby. Well in lieu of all of that we're going to use the shoe box and of course you know what you're looking for for crowning and then the 10 centimeters of dilation for the baby to come out and this is our magic flap. We pull that out and pretend this stuffed animal is being delivered. And then, of course, the placenta will be delivered last, and then you will package it. 
And that's how you can simulate the childbirth instead of using the mannequin. The OB kit comes with a drape, but my shoebox came with this tissue. So we will use this tissue, or you can use anything else like a, a towel or a blanket or anything you have in your house to drape the mother for privacy. In this case, we're draping the box for privacy. The OB kit comes with a disposable towel. In lieu of the towel, my shoebox came with like a spongy type material. So I will use this to clean the baby. Make sure you get the head too. You're about to cap it. I don't have a cap, an extra cap than the real cap. So get creative. Maybe you could repurpose your gloves. There you go. Or a sock, whatever. Just 80% of the heat comes out of the head. Let's cover that head. Now, some of you may have a peri pad hanging around your house. Some of us don't. So I'm just going to recycle some of my Southwest Airline pretzels and put it on the perineum as my peri pad. There we go. Done. A great substitute for the receiving blanket will be a hand towel, the same one you used as an absorbent pad, or you can find another blanket or towel that's larger. I'm going to use this one again. I'll place the baby here, bring the arm down, bring one end to the sternum, and wrap tightly. I don't have much down here for the legs, so I'm going to skip that. Bring the other baby's arm down. Bring the top corner over the sternum, bring the other corner over, and wrap snugly. And there's your baby. Once again, thank you for watching Lomeli EMS Production. I hope the information was insightful and will help you in your future endeavors. Remember, live for today, learn for tomorrow.